Scorpio, welcome to your reading, your message. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're doing something that you love today. And let's see what spirit has for you. Today, we're just going to be taking a look at the energies that are showing up for you in your life at this time. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, of course. And let's just get right into it. If you would like to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal. Links will be in the description box below or my about time. Let's begin. Spirit. All right, Scorpio. I chose to use a different deck and let's see what Spirit has for you just in regards to the energy showing up for you at this time. Spirit. What do you got for Scorpio? What energy showing up in Scorpio's life at this time. Scorpio. All right. So what I'm seeing here, underlying energy, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be tied up to work, family, community, all right? This could be tied up to your goals, hopes, and dreams, what you invest or envision um, for your future, for yourself, right? What you're investing your energy into or manifesting. But what came out, we do have the Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So Scorpio, I'm seeing um, a bit of a perseverance here, a bit of a heaviness and some confusion, you know? You're showing me that you're not giving up on something. However, you feel conflicted also about whatever it is you're investing a lot of yourself into. With the Ten of Wands here, something could be becoming burdensome, right? And this all could be tied up to what it is you're manifesting or creating for yourself. Show me this Nine of Wands for Scorpio. What's this Nine of Wands about? The Nine of Wands is a bit of... Hmm, let's slow down. With this Nine of Wands here, Scorpio... This is an energy... That show, it's it's almost like an energy of feeling very dedicated, but also a bit conflicted. Knowing that you want to keep moving forward, but feeling as if continuing to give your energy to this or invest in this is there. There's a there's a doubt that comes with it because it hasn't manifested yet or the situation hasn't played out how you would you what would expect, you know, person place thing. Something's not going how you plan, but you've invested so much of yourself and your energy, your essence into it that it's almost like you're willing to continue to show up or you know, give to it. And that's super, very understandable. You know what I mean? With the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, because whether it's a hope, a dream, a goal, you know, you creating your legacy, your family, your community, whatever it is, the Ten of Pentacles is a very prominent uh, part of our life and, and milestone, you know, that we all achieve um, in different parts of our lives in different ways. So whatever it is, it's very understandable that you're not giving up on it. But it's also understandable that um, the Ten of Pentacles is not so easy to achieve, right? That perfect happiness, that perfect marriage, that uh, perfect dream life. You know, it's not so easy. So this Nine of Wands is showing me that you're somebody, Scorpio, who you don't give up on something that you want. You don't give up so easily, at least. But you may be at this, a bit of a crossroads with this Two of Swords, you know? Because I'm seeing here a decision or confliction about who knows what we will clarify. But I have a feeling, Scorpio, that you're 
decision has to do with these wands because it's almost like you're showing me very you're showing me completion of a journey with the ten of wands ten of pentacles you know and it's something that you invested a lot of yourself into or you know you're very close to completing a journey maybe but let's see what this nine of wands is about so we can get a bigger pers picture of what, what's going on okay one more scorpio Ooh. All right, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. Could have to do it work. Ace of Cups reverse. The Hermit. You could be thinking about going. Doesn't have to be work. But again, something that you really invest yourself in. You could just be thinking about going your own way. Denying an opportunity. Heading in your own direction. The Hermit. Ace of Cups reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Something's feeling like Scorpio is not interested. Uh, because with the Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords Reverse, Scorpio. There could be multiple energies involved here. You know, there also could be just an energy of you not feeling like your effort, your intention, your investment is being um, appreciated or understood by whatever it is you're giving your energy to. You know what I mean? Like, it was you showing up, giving your all, or just investing yourself in some way, shape, or form, and then not feeling like you are received or your energy is received in a way that is fulfilling to you. So, with, especially if it's in regards to your work or who knows what it is. You know, maybe you feel under underappreciated at work or in a relationship or an environment, but... I definitely see that this is not something that has is it's been happening for a while. I want to say with the nine of wands, you know what I mean? This isn't like oh one day you were just someone was talking shit about you at work, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like this is something that you've really given a lot of yourself to, or tried to, and something's not working out, or you don't feel it is. And so with this two of swords spirit, what can you show me for Scorpio? Ooh, the four of swords. <clears throat> One more. The Nine of Swords. Scorpio. Underlying energy, we got the Moon Reverse. You know exactly how you feel. You know exactly how you feel, but with the King of Swords Reverse and the Chariot Reverse, I don't know if you're saying it. I don't know if you're just... I think you're holding back. But there's something you want to say. You're showing me that you want to say something. Because you feel something, and it, what you feel seems to be, you know, five of pentacles, again, with that feeling of not so good, like, it's almost like you want to express something in regards to that, you know, you put in your 10,000 hours, you stood up, you did the hard work, it's, something's not working or clicking for you in this situation, and it's on your mind a lot, because with the nine of swords and the four of swords and the two of swords... Well, we got two choices here, two lanes. We're going to go towards peace or we're going to go towards stress. But I see you desiring an, an answer. You know what I mean? Feeling maybe at a crossroads in between how to approach the situation, how to deal with it, handle it, or what to do. Whatever it is, it's definitely on your mind a lot, stressing you out a bit. And I see a lot of... I see you wanting to take a step back or gain some sort of peace, clarity from it. Because with the Ten of Wands, it, it could be becoming, you know, a bit stressful for you to handle or deal with. For Scorpio, Queen of Swords, and the Five of Cups, which is beautiful, actually. Because I see an acknowledgement of one's feelings. I see an acknowledgement of, um, I, I see an answer. You know, it's almost like you found your answer or I see clarity being had, you know, truth being spoken. Um, although those feelings we were talking about with the five of cups were not whatever you're going through was disappointing or stressful. It's like I see an acknowledgement or just you speaking up for yourself about what's not working for you or what's becoming difficult or heavy or, you know, in whatever situation you find yourself. 
And so whatever this is all about with this Ten of Pentacles being the underlying energy, something you love and care for, and, you know, it's like, it's like, um, let's say you're a part of a project and you're really interested in the, the project, uh, but you're the only one, you know, you're in a group project, but you're the only one doing the work and everyone's just like riding off your coattail. You know what I mean? It's, it's giving me the energy of you being the one doing all the work and everyone riding off your coattail. And then you being stuck with all of the emotions, all of the labor, all of everything. And then you being aware of it, but not knowing what to do about it and really just speaking your mind like, look, I ain't cool with this. This is not working for me. We got to do something about it because I'm too invested in this. To be feeling like this. You know what I mean? So I just really see you standing up for yourself. Making a way for yourself. <laughs> uh, show me the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Which maybe should have did at the beginning. But Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Could be really tied up to the material. And a Five of Pentacles. Okay. Scorpio. <clears throat> Judgment. So there's this energy of... Hmm. Turn like there's this energy of having a goal, a vision, recognizing the circumstances are not where the goal or vision is, but not giving up on it. You like this is you. I'm seeing an energy of awareness here of what you want, where you're at and how to get there. You know what I mean? And so with this whole reading, I'm seeing this like you putting yourself in position to fulfill your goals, your desires, your dreams and wishes. And it comes at the cost of you speaking that truth, standing up for yourself. And yeah, you know, clearing the way for yourself. Um, Spirit, anything you would like to leave Scorpio with at this time? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Intuition. And surrender. Love it. So, Scorpio, you are somebody, I, uh, you're very intuitive. Your intuition works uniquely to you. You have a very strong connection to source, the universe. Um, and you could be feeling like it may be time to surrender something. Because we got a lot of he heaviness that you seem to be carrying or stress um, within a certain situation here. And so with surrender, it says, sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest, to stop trying to control the whole universe. And with this Ten of Wands here, and this Nine of Wands, it feels like somebody who is admirably determined, but also stubbornly determined. You know what I mean? Like, yes, keep fighting, keep going, keep investing at your path. But like at the same time, like recognize... When too much is too much for you, you know? <laughs> so you could be really just feeling like it's time to let something go, but I don't know, but your intuition does. Because with intuition, it says, each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Scorpio, you know what you need. You know what's going to serve you, fulfill you. And it's not always easy expressing that. So Spirit's encouraging you and supporting you on your journey of coming to these choices and decisions and expressing all that. But I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope it resonated. If you would like to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal. Links will be in the description box below or my about tab. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.